Welcome back, Earth Clan. Will you be needing supplies for your return to the colonies? Show me what you've got. Most excellent. I am sure you will find something pleasing. Commander Shepard, it is an honor to speak with you. You obviously wanted to speak with me. I'm Charles Saraceno of the Terra Firma Party. With Armistice Day coming soon, we're making our voices heard by the alien appeasers on the Presidium. Can I count on your support in the next election? You're marking the end of the first contact war with a protest? As we have every year for the last 26 years. The war taught humanity a lesson that some would forget. If we don't stand up for ourselves, no one else will. I thought the lesson of the First Contact War was that there's other life in the galaxy, and they have opinions too. Perhaps so, Commander. But if aliens feel free to express their opinions at gunpoint, why shouldn't we? We should, but you're looking for a reason. I disagree. We have a backlog of grievances the aliens have ignored, starting with Shanxi. Were you at Shanxi? If not, shut your pie hole! It's not worth getting angry over, Chief. Right. I read you, Skipper. What are you running for? I'm seeking one of the five spacer seats in Parliament. They have certain Baroque conditions for a citizen to be able to vote for them. You have to spend more than six months a year in space, but you can't have stayed in any one settled system for more than a month. You do spend most of your time in space, Commander. I don't know Terra Firma's platform. What do you stand for? Our core value is that Earth must stand firm against alien influences, politically, culturally, and in the worst case, militarily. It's a noble goal. Too bad so many of your supporters are just racists. I can't deny that some of our supporters have extreme views, but our platform is also supported by economists, sociologists, and medical professionals. A few extremists don't invalidate the whole party, Chief. Every group has bad apples. Of course, Commander. Sorry. I believe we need to work peacefully with other races. We've heard that before in human history. Well-meaning naivete leads to declarations of peace in our time. We can't allow anything like Shanxi to happen again. I don't suppose I could convince you to issue a public statement of support for my candidacy. The support of the first human specter would be invaluable. The occupation of Shanxi couldn't happen again? We weren't even sure there were aliens to garrison against back then. It's still a powerful symbol, Commander. Shanxi is the only human territory ever occupied by an alien species. It's inappropriate for an active duty officer to publicly comment on politics. Of course. I apologize for making the request. Thank you for your time, Commander. Remember Terra Firma on Election Day, because Terra Firma remembers you. Soldier, I've got a major situation, and I need help from somebody with humanity's interests at heart. What kind of situation are we talking about? Of course, right to business. That's why humanity has the best damn fleet in the galaxy. My name is Elias Keeler. I'm an Alliance negotiator. We've got a big session coming up with the Solarians. You wouldn't believe what's riding on this. I'm fighting for humanity on this one, just like you are. I understand. It's important. So what do you need? Well, in order to do my best for humanity, I need the best resources on the market. There's a mental stimulant that increases alertness and cognitive function. It's legal, but restricted. I've purchased the monthly limit, and I need more from the medbay. What is this stimulant, exactly? 
oh, I don't know the medical terms, but it increases mental capacity, short-term recall, that sort of thing. It helps me stay focused, and it keeps me sharp. Nothing gets by me when I'm on it. If you know the monthly limits, why did you go over them? The negotiations were supposed to be last week, but the Salarian stalled it, probably deliberately. If I don't get the stimulant, I'll be a wreck. My assistant will take over, and that would be a disaster. You should put some trust in your assistant. Didn't you train him? My assistant wants to bend over backwards for the Citadel races. He wants to show them we're reasonable. No race will respect us until we show them who's in charge. That's what it took with the Turians. Yeah, forget my assistant. Why is this deal so important? The Salarians want to set up long-term trade agreements. There are billions of credits at stake. If I don't get the drug, my assistant will take over and mess up the whole deal. It would be a disaster. You should put some trust in your assistant. <sighs> my assistant him? wants to bend over. No race will respect us until we show them who's in charge. That's what it took with the Turians. Healer, you've got a problem. You need to get treatment. It might look that way from the outside, but this is just a one-time slip-up. All the top negotiators are on stimulants close to the legal limit. It's the way the game is played. I don't see all the top negotiators soliciting help to go over the legal limit, Keeler. Maybe you're right. I've been trying to keep humanity strong, and maybe I've pushed myself too hard. I'll tell you what, this will be the last time I use the stimulant. After this deal is finished, I'll get treatment. No trade negotiation is worth ruining your life for. Let it go and get help. You don't understand! Humanity needs me, and I need that stimulant! Without it, I'll... I... I don't know anymore. I get so tired when I run out of the stimulant. I, I just need one more boost. There's no shame in having a problem, but you have to get treatment. You're... you're right. Uh, I'll go tell my assistant. I shouldn't be working like this. I, I'll... I'll get help. I'm just sorry it came to this. You came, I heard that happen. The Normandy's been grounded. I know, I'm sorry. I wanted to warn you, but there was no way to get a message to you before you docked. I know you're pissed off right now, but you can't give up. They all think this is over, but we both know it's not. You have to go to Ilos. You have to stop Saren from using the conduit. There's only one ship that can get me into the Terminus systems undetected, and she's grounded. Citadel Controls locked out all the Normandy's systems, but if we override the Ambassador's orders, we can get them to bring the Normandy back online. You can be in the Terminus systems before anyone even knows you're gone. What's the plan? I can unlock the Normandy from one of the consoles in the Citadel Control Center. You'll have a few minutes before anyone realizes what happened. That's a restricted area patrolled by armed guards. How are you going to get in? Leave that to me. Just make sure you're in the Normandy when the systems come back online. There's got to be a better way. Ambassador Udina issued the lockdown order. If I can hack into the computer in his office, maybe I can override it. He's not gonna let you waltz into his office and use his computer. Hopefully he won't be there. If he is, I'll just have to think of something. Udina won't let this slide, Captain. You'll be charged with treason, a capital offense. We don't have a lot of options. I break into the Ambassador's computer, or I take my chances with the patrols in Citadel Control. It's your call, Captain. I'll break into the Ambassador's office. He made this personal. You ready to get the hell off this station, Commander? I still have some things to take care of. Come see me when you're ready to do this. I'll be right here waiting for you.
They told me it was you, but I didn't believe it. Shepard grew up and turned into a soldier. Have we met? Name's Finch. You probably don't remember me, but we ran together in the 10th Street Reds. Maybe you don't remember it yourself, running in a gang. None of the vids mention it when they're talking about you. So I ran with the Reds. That's behind me now. We're not trying to cause you trouble, Shepard. We just want a favor, for old times' sake. One of the Reds, Kurt Wiseman, got picked up by Turians. We'd like you to talk to the Turian guard in the bar and get Kurt out. What was this guy arrested for? Some stupid minor offense. Maybe he had a little red sand. You know how the Turians are. They declared him a problem, and they're shipping him back for a trial. You're not asking me to break Wiseman out of jail, are you? Of course not. But word has it you've got some pull with the aliens. All we're asking you to do is pull a little for us. What was one of the 10th Street Reds doing in Turian space? Since your days, the Reds have expanded. We do some salvage, a little shipping here and there, that kind of thing. I'll talk to the Turian and see what I can do. Thanks, Shepard. I knew you'd remember your old friends. The guard's over in Korra's den. Take care of this, and you'll never see me again. wanted me to use my authority as a specter to free Kurt Wiseman. The xenophobe? I should have known he'd have friends. Thank you for the information. <laughs> we'll increase the guard of his cell. I knew you'd rat us out, Shepard. Now it's payback time. When we're through telling our story, the aliens will all know what the first human specter really is. My bio is public record. Everyone knows that I ran with gangs as a kid. They don't know that the Reds target aliens specifically. We've got the backers to handle off-world missions. Your alien friends won't like you so much when they hear what your gang did. What do you want, Finch? What gets you out of my life? What do I want? I want aliens off of Earth. I want the Council to stay out of humanity's business. 10th Street Reds was a gang, not an Earth First movement. They're a human movement now. You think the vids will make that distinction? I can find a dozen Reds who'll swear they saw you kill aliens for fun. Who's going to believe you then? No, they won't. Impressive. Perhaps the first human Spectre will not be a disappointment after all. Goodbye, Spectre. Human, you need something, yes? Oh, you will be pleased, I think.
Yes, human, you need something, yes? Oh, you will be... Yes, Commander. Is there something I can do for you? Let me take a look at what you have for sale. Of course. Commander. Show me your items. Oh, this one is please. Hello again, Commander.
You ready to get the hell off this station? This station? Let's do it. I'll take care of the lockdown. You get down to the Normandy and tell Joker to stand by. Saren was one of the most respected Turians in the galaxy, Garrus. Are you gonna be okay going up against him? Saren is either a traitor or a madman. Taking him down will restore the good name of Turians everywhere. Just keep saying that, especially to humans. We've got a lot of angry people right now. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in progress. Decontamination in progress. Decontamination in progress. Anderson, what are you doing here? I didn't send... <clears throat> Looking for supplies? Let's see what you've got. You bet, Commander. Thank you. 
Ship. Risky stuff. But I'm right behind you, Shepard. It's the least I can do. Everyone else thinks I'm crazy. Sometimes crazy is the best way to go. I just hope they don't catch us before we get our hands on Saren. They won't. With you, anything's possible. So long, Rex. Shepard. Commander? Do you have a few minutes to talk one-on-one? -on -one? I should get back to my duty, Skipper. Rifles don't maintain themselves. Dismissed, Chief. Sir. I can't believe we stole the Normandy. It's risky, but hopefully it'll pay off. We'll be fine, Garrus. Just be ready when we find Saren. Yes, Commander. on the run. Very exciting, Shepard. I wonder what the Council would do to us if we got caught. Your father probably had some political pull, right? He wouldn't let them throw his little girl in jail. You don't know my father. Stealing ships is a capital offense among my people. He'd probably want to execute us himself. We've got bigger problems than your father, like Saren and the Reapers. Good point. Was there something else you wanted to talk about? I should go.